So for the Solar Decathlon project, it's a little bit different than other design projects and studio projects that we've been involved in. I think the challenge of it, it brings out a lot in each of the people working on the project because everyone approaches it a little bit differently, but it's different from the original, like an initial design studio and you know, you only take your project so far. This has been able to give us a much more collaborative sort of process. Right now we're standing obviously on top of the roof where our solar panels are going to go. Okay, so you can also see that this is a flat roof with parapets. Um, the parapets allow us to uh, allow us to build the structures separately, um, helped us kind of create a rigid envelope um, so each, each module could be independent. So right here is uh, the joint between uh, the two modules on the parapet. And this is one module. And this is another module, and this is the joint between them. And we'll eventually put a gasket material in between to, to create a, a barrier for air infiltration. Uh, cover over the top with a parapet cap, and it'll look like one piece. Right here we have our roof scuppers for uh, drainage. Uh, all the water will slope down to the north side of the house, and we'll eventually have some custom made pieces that will drain the water from the roof away from the house uh, outside on the north side. So we're standing on the flat roof of the solar house. Uh, right now we're starting to lay down our first layer of uh, polystyrene insulation um, and then we'll have a layer of sloped insulation over top of this to, uh, to let the roof drain. Uh, you can also see see here that we, we're starting to we've already installed the standoffs to support the, the structure for our solar panels. Here we have two inches of rigid insulation. Um, again we'll build up on top of that with some sloped insulation and then we'll have a, a membrane roof, which is uh, not typical in residential construction. So the uh, tapered roof insulation does two things. Uh, number one, obviously the, the taper uh, takes it from a flat roof to something that's slightly sloped in order to shed water, but it has additional benefits beyond that. Um, in a traditional house where you might uh, have an attic with sort of a sloped roof, you might fill that uh, attic space up with uh, loose fill insulation or something like that. Um, a couple of, a couple of uh, disadvantages, uh, number one, you're using more material, um, and number two, um, it's not necessarily going to be as consistent. What's nice about um, this system, uh, the rigid insulation, uh, R value per inch is nearing probably twice as, uh, twice the R value in terms of efficiency, and also it's continuous across the roof. Um, so it's a it's a continuous insulation. You're not going to have you know breaks from roof joists or things like that. And also the R value per inch is higher. So the uh, process for laying down the membrane, first you kind of cut a rough piece to size um, and you uh, get it folded over. It's almost like uh, you would think of applying wallpaper in a house. Uh, you fold it over on itself, you do one half, uh, you do the other. Uh, basically what it is, it's sort of like a contact cement product. You roll it both on the roof uh, and on the membrane. Once it tacks up, you, uh, you roll it over and uh, kind of smooth it out with a broom. Um, and once you have uh, the main flat part of the roof, you put a metal, metal termination bar where it sort of turns up the parapet uh, about an inch or so. And then uh, what happens is uh, on the wall of the top and wall of the parapet, the membrane will come down and uh, over and then they'll heat weld it. And what heat welding is, think of it as like a giant uh, hair dryer on steroids. It's about uh, 
1200 degrees it gets up to from what I understand and um, what you do is you stick that between the two layers of membrane and it melts it and welds it together.